this on digital integrator circuits so today we are going to see about digital integrator circuits so an integrator circuit is a electronic circuit or device uh, that has an electronic component on a small semiconductor chip it has functionality of a logic and or amplifying of a frequency signal there are two types of circuits one is digital or and uh, the other one is analog Analog ICs handle continuous signals such as the audio signals and digital ICs uh, handle discrete signals such as binary values. So with uh, changes in time, significant changes have also taken place and uh, may, many technological advancements have uh, been more concise and uh, designed for, uh, for a proper uh, circuit designing. Uh, like for example, the very first computer used in ancient time was similar to the size of thousand laptops used in these present time. So, like the have you ever wondered like what is the big change that has made all these possible? If uh, the answer to the question is, it's nothing but integrated circuit. So, um, as it is widely said, uh, necessity or uh, like uh, necessity of a uh, Developing a digital integrator circuit uh, is nothing but the it's a smaller circuit and it uh, comprises circuit elements like a uh, capacitor, resistor, diode, and transistor, and put together using copper wires. And the circuits available earlier were by bulky and larger, and uh, they could not be used in uh, larger machines. And the large circuits are not suitable for creating compact and small applications. Furthermore, these circuits were not wholly reliable uh, and shock proof. Later on, uh, scientists invented transistors that helped in simplifying things and uh, made way for the development of ICs in smaller size, uh, which has uh, uh, more safety and uh, power uh, uh, that had to be integrated into larger devices. So, what is an integrator circuit? If uh, want, if we want to define this in a more specific manner, uh, so the definition would be like an integrator circuit is a minuscule chip made up of semiconductor material. This chip is what uh, makes the so entire circuit. Okay, it is quite small in small and in compared to basic uh, circuits, uh, it is made up of different components and uh, it has uh, and its size is approximately. Uh, similar to the size of a small human fingernail. Uh, at present, the most common integrator circuits used are monolithic chips. And integrator circuit uh, would uh, nothing but chips that are used in almost every electrical uh, electric equipment or appliance that are found uh, around the, our sense. Okay, so it's nothing but uh, TV, mobile, laptop, or some electronic toys or, uh, or gadgets that children used to play all those uh, things are constructed using an IC okay so we have uh, ICs is of a uh, different type and it is um, categorized um, based on a uh, digital integrated circuit mixer integrated circuit and an uh, analog integrated circuit so here we are going to see only about digital integrated circuit okay so in uh, digital integrator circuits, these uh, ICs, uh, IC chips that work only at a few levels that are specific, specifically defined instead of working on an all signal amplitude level. So the digital integrator uh, circuits are specially designed using several digital logic flip flops, multiplexer uh, gates and other electrical element of circuits. The logic gates operate with digital input and binary input data uh, like 0 and 1. Uh, so the digital ICs are uh, uh, widely used in microprocessor, control, uh, computer, uh, computer networks, frequency counter, and uh, digital signal processor. So uh, here, what you have learned, the, the dig digital design approach is used to create integrated circuits, which are utilized as computer memory such as RAM and ROM and microprocessor. So with this approach to, to the design, the circuit density and overall efficiency or, or everything is uh, maximized. 
Dice is created with this technique operate with binary input data like 0 and 1. The process for designing digital integrator circuits uh, is given uh, here in this diagram. Okay. So uh, initially we are uh, system, uh, system specification is used. Second one is architectural design and third one is functional and logic design. Fourth one is circuit design. Fifth one is physical design and sixth one is physical verification and sign off and seventh one is fabrication eighth one is packaging and testing and ninth and final step is uh, production of chip okay so uh, digital integrated circuits is uh, categorized into two types one is bipolar other one is unipolar bipolar is again divided into two types one is saturated other one is unsaturated Okay, in saturated for type, it is of uh, six types. Okay, uh, direct coupled transistor logic, resistor transistor logic, integrator injection uh, logic, diode transistor logic, transistor transistor logic, high threshold logic. Okay, in unsaturated, it is of uh, TTL, uh, transistor transistor logic and emitter coupled logic. Okay. And uni, uni, unipolar is again divided into two types. One is PMOS and other one is NMOS. And uh, the third one is CMOS. So, here uh, logic families are ca classified according to the mm, group. Okay. Small scale integration, medium scale integration, large scale integration, very large scale integration. So, in small scale integration, less than 100 transistors are used. So, this is the number of transistors, less than 100 used. And if these are used for the educational purposes, interface complex digital devices. So, if the number of transistors is above 100 and below 1000, these are used for medium scale integration for MUX, PMUX, register counters, etc. For LSI, like above 1000 and below 10,000. So it, these are used in small memory chips and programmable logic devices and for VLSA it's uh, like more than 10,000 transistors are used yeah, and application includes large uh, computer memories, microprocessor controllers and digital signal processor. So construction and packaging, uh, ICs are built with uh, semiconducting components such as silicon and because of uh, size and uh, delicate uh, nature of IC, a series of tiny gold and aluminum uh, wires are joined together and molded into a flat block of plastic or ceramic. So metal pins on the block's exterior links to the cables inside. And uh, the size of an IC is, uh, varies from 1 square mm to more than 200 mm. And um, ICs can be integrated uh, into uh, you know, units such as like controller and processor uh, memory and a single unit okay so uh, the commonly used ICs uh, are like logic gate ICs it's nothing but combination circuit that generates logical outputs based on variety of input signal it may only have two to three inputs but one output timer IC uh, so it, it is used to produce a, a accurate timing cycle with a hundred percent or fifty percent duty cycle, and then a uh, third one type is operation amp, uh, op amp. An op amp uh, is high gain voltage amplifier with a differential input and a single ended output. And uh, last type is uh, voltage regulator IC. So it is used to provide a constant DC output irrespective of the change in the DC input. So next class you will see about characteristics of. Uh, digital integrated circuits. Thank you.